So, will you please join me in welcoming Vaughan Gething, Minister for Health and Social Services at the Welsh Government. Vaughan, over to you. Well, thank you, and thank you very much for the opportunity to speak. Uh, you're right that we are living through an extraordinary time, a public health crisis that has challenged us like no other. It is a genuine once in a century event. And yet through this, we have had to struggle, individual nations, all four nations across Europe and the wider world. And it should give us a greater respect for the truth and for facts, our ability to learn from what has happened in the last few months and the challenges we have had to confront should absolutely be at the forefront of our minds over the challenges of the next few months and years. I go back to the challenges we have had over personal protective equipment in particular. We recognise very quickly at the start of this pandemic that our ability to get in equipment to protect our frontline health and care staff and the people that they were caring for was severely compromised by international procurement chains. And the ability we faced, the difficulty we faced in getting those goods in to all the countries of the UK. And yet a no deal is likely to, to provide even more challenges in the field of health and care as we're going through an extraordinarily challenging autumn and winter. One like no other, we're a moderate flu season allied to a continued resurgence of the coronavirus pandemic is likely to provide a challenge like no other. And I can tell you as a health minister who's been a health minister through six previous winters, this is the most difficult we have ever seen. No deal is not just unavoidable, it is not inevitable, it is a choice. The United Kingdom government could choose to take no deal away and the additional threat that would provide. The risk not just to medicine supply, not just the goods and services, not just the friction in our trading relationship, but in the relations we will continue to rely upon in years to come. In the fields of research, the continuity we need to combat the current threat to coronavirus that is not finished, the challenges of creating new and different treatments, the damage that would be done in terms of our inability to work in the most efficient way with other partners who are all looking to create new potential treatments and therapies in the field of health and care. And now with the urgency that coronavirus provides to intervene and interrupt that flow of information and knowledge is not something that I think any responsible government of any party should sign up to. But my real concern, as ever, is for people. The lives that have been lost over the last few months, the difficult choices we have faced, and yet we've had to make choices based on imperfect evidence, a developing knowledge base. And yet we do have evidence about the impact that a no deal would have. We do have evidence about the impact it would have in the fields of health and care. But I can tell you as a health minister, I am more concerned for the longer term impact on our economy. I know very well that every time there is a significant level of unemployment, there is additional demand that comes into our health and care system. Physical and crucially mental health and well-being need goes up. Mm. There is more demand on our service. And crucially, there's less public income coming in to deliver the public services that we value. I don't think that that is a bright future for this country, and I don't think that's what people were offered. And I certainly don't think there is a white charger waiting on the hill to deliver a new world-leading trade deal with the rest of the world to make up for what we could well lose with a no deal. I think there are many voices who will say that they want a country that is based on principles they recognise, that is based on evidence, that is based on decency. Crucially, now more than ever, is based on fact. You can't eat fiction and you can't keep people well on a dream. I look forward to all of us playing our part to gain the very best for every part of our United Kingdom in whatever our European future is. And I hope more than anything else that is not a future based on the damage that a no deal Brexit will do. Thank you, Vaughan, for reminding us of the health and economic implications of government action and government choices at this time.
this does break international law in a very specific and limited way. 